What's going on, everybody? Zen in here from Car Guys Garage, coming at you with the reveal to the powder coating. Um, before we get to the number, thank you everyone for your comments. Thank you everyone for guessing, and you know for for interacting with me. That's one thing that um, we're going to discuss in a few videos down the road. Um, my goals for 2019, my failures from 2018, and also my successes from 2018. And um, having you guys interact with me is very, very important moving forward in my endeavor here in 2019. So I really, really appreciate that. Now, for powder coating, um, just to give you a little insight, uh, there, there, maybe you don't understand what it is, or maybe you don't hear other companies talk about it or you've never seen it being done and I'm gonna shoot a video one of these days showing how the powder coat um, does go on and, and, and the steps through that so when I order my powder coat I have to order by the pound usually I order one pound uh, if, I, if I'm testing something so if I wanted to order uh, candy purple we'll say that's the name and I go on the website and I put it in they sell it by the pound so I could order 50 pounds if I want to or I could order just one pound um, on average the price of powder coat is around $15 upwards of 20 and 25 there are some I do have a powder coat that was 50 bucks a pound pretty expensive uh, and it ended up actually not being a powder coat that I used because I didn't I just I didn't like the color so um, yeah, you're looking at about 15, 20, 25 dollars a pound. So on average, it, it works out to be about 20 bucks a pound. And then on top of that, this is, the, this is the strange thing, not necessarily strange or weird, but what people don't realize is that I'm up here in Canada. So we have to pay shipping for everything because shipping in Canada is, it's, it's, it's hilarious. And so I have to get things shipped to me. And it's usually about 25 bucks when you're ordering anything under five pounds and then it goes up and up and up and up and up. Now, I'm talking in Canadian dollars in terms of the shipping and I'm talking in Canadian dollars in terms of the, the, the costing of the powder. So anytime I order something, let's say it's 20 bucks and then it's another $25 roughly to get it shipped up here. And then if it's over a certain amount of money, I gotta pay customs fees and I gotta pay taxes and all that wild stuff. So it gets really, really, really expensive. Now, powder coat is exactly what it says in the name. It's a powder that you coat something with. So you, you take your item and you hang it in your booth and it sits on a grounded, uh, a grounded connection. And when you use your spray gun, it takes that grounded connection and it electrically charges the powder as it comes out and then it, it gets attracted to the negative item which is the shift knob or if you're doing a manifold or exhaust tips whatever so it goes on like a powder so it's like icing sugar or cocoa powder that's the type of consistency that it actually is if, you, if, if, if you're really curious and you spray it on you have to spray it level you have to spray it you know evenly you have to make sure that you're getting in the nooks and crannies and sometimes when you have a lot of nooks and crannies it takes a little bit more powder to get in there so you could actually when it sits in the oven you could tell that you put too much powder in one little crevice because it's it's bubbled or it's uneven and 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 stuff so powder coating is you know it it, it, it can be hard now for me fortunately a lot of my shift knobs most of them are fairly straightforward I don't have a lot of nooks and crannies but when you got the grooves and especially the e-brake buttons it, it's really hard to get into the back of it but I find a way to make do so that's a little bit of powder coating I will be shooting a video uh, it's very hard to shoot by myself how to powder coat and holding the camera and whatnot but I'll ask you know hopefully my wife could help me out one of these days so that you guys could see the process of me doing it so enough about that so like I said, the pricing of powder coat, you're looking at about 15 to 20 bucks. So we're going to go on the lower end. I'll go with $15 a pound, and I will reveal to you guys how many sheets that there are there. So I currently have in my hand 140 sheets of powder coat. Now, that is every color that I have, 140. 
That doesn't include, you know, me doubling up on, you know, say my wrinkle color or my blues or my reds. This is, every time I order a new powder coat, this gets put into a binder and I put the name on it so that it has all the information here. It says to bake it at 12 minutes at 400 degrees. Once the item reaches temperature, it tells me the mills, how thick the powder should be. And, you know, for this one, it's three millimeters. For this one, it's 1.8 so on and so forth. So this gives me all the information. So if you order Porsche Silver, uh, it's not on the website because <laughs> I haven't sprayed it yet, but I then take this out and it, it gives me all the information that I need to know to make sure that I follow when I'm spraying it. So cure time is 12 minutes at 400 degrees. That means that the shift knob needs to come up to 400 degrees. Physically, the shift knob needs to be 400 degrees and it needs to sit in the oven for 12 minutes maintaining that 400 degrees. And I have to put a thickness of three, millimeter, three millimeters on it. And there's a special tool that you get so that after you bake it, you can turn around and test it to make sure that you've met those requirements. So yeah, that's pretty much everything on here. It's, it's all pretty cool, it's informative, and that's just what I do. So when you have that many shift knob colors that you order, and I stick that into the computer here, 140 times 15, we get a grand total without shipping costs, without duties, without taxes of $2,100. So this past year alone, I've invested over $2,100 in shift knob uh, colors that I've tested, not tested, I've okayed, I've said no, and I've discontinued. So yeah. Just a quick little video, so whoever has 140, I'm actually gonna check now. So I'll post the video and then maybe I'll tag you or the winner or the closest person to it without going over. And then we'll see who won, all right, everyone? So if you have any questions about powder coat, I'm not a professional, I state that on my website. I do a pretty good job. Um, I haven't really had many issues with powder coat except for dust I, I have a hard time with dust sometimes but if you're interested in me talking more about powder coat put a comment below and ask your questions and I'll try to answer them the best that I can if I don't know the answer I'll try to find it out for you guys all right everyone so thank you everyone again for commenting I really really appreciate that and keep them coming and we'll see you next time later